All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to make this real quick, okay? First of all, I want to say thank you to you guys that continue to come and watch me. <laughs> Even though I'm not like a guru at stocks, like I've said before, I'm here learning just like you are. And that, I think that's why everyone goes to YouTube and look for information to try to learn this whole stock game, okay? I'm definitely trying to learn it. Um, some people may not agree with the stocks that I buy. But it's my choice, right? Everyone does not have the same trading strategy because if they did, I think a lot of people would will be broke, okay? Um, there's so many ways to trade. You trade what you want. Just because someone else don't like the company doesn't mean that you're not supposed to like the company, okay? Vice versa. And there's going to be a lot of people say, oh, penny stocks are garbage. Don't, don't trust penny stocks. Don't trade penny stocks. That's their opinion, okay? But you have to realize that those penny stocks are on the market. Someone's making money off of it, regardless of what these other people think. Okay. Um, but you know, penny stocks are there. They can be put into a category where they could get delisted at any moment or any time. So you always, when you invest in a um, penny stock, try to figure out when they either going to do a reverse split because a lot of them do. Um, and if, if they have a delisting date okay those are some of the main um things to keep um keep an eye on that's only a few but anyway i do have a list right here july 30 it's kind it's kind of lengthy but um there's only a few that i'm really watching i grab some extra things because i want to keep track of some um some other uh, penny stocks okay this is on the top of my list right here and it's already made a move okay um I jumped in this about 3,623 shares. My average cost is 0 0.03. Okay. Um, I'm already up 10% on my investment. My total return is only $13. <laughs> um, let's look at the all time. Let's look at 52 week high is $4. Does it mean it's going to get back to $4 a day? I don't, I'm, I don't know. I don't, it'd be hard okay um but we're going to keep an eye on it but we can like look at see where it was a week ago okay it's at 04 so it's it looks like the next stop is going to be 05 right hopefully it can get past that and then move up to um 0.058 and then on up in here if once it gets up here i think and if it can hold up in this six area i think it's going to try to ride this area for a while before it probably pull back and then push back up. It's just my opinion. This is what I think is gonna happen, okay? It's not financial advice, but they do need to get back up here so they can stay up here, okay? And if they get up here, up in the $7, I mean, not $7, $0.07 cent range, um, who knows what is gonna happen. It may just ride just like this for a while, okay? Um, at one point, they were up here 21 a year ago. They were up here at three dollars uh, max. Let's see, it was like up here at ten. Okay, so I have this on the top of my list. I am keeping an eye on it. Um, I'm not planning on staying in this long. And then, uh, yeah, so that's it. Three thousand six hundred shares I have of that. So let's go to the next one. This was near the top of my list, but I only have eight shares. I sold some of my, um, I sold some of my shares out of this to move it into that first. To move it into here so I can make a profit, okay? Because I was going negative in this, but this may turn around. I do I only have eight of those. Um, I still have 632 of this market value, and I'm down like 30%, so it's like minus $18. Um, I'm keeping an eye on that also. Here's another one I grab. Excuse me, guys. I do not have a stake in this. Did I ever buy this? No, I didn't. So, uh, P PMEC, I just want to keep an eye on it. This one I want to keep an eye on. Also, it's already up um, 17%. I think I watched. I think I bought some of this in the past. Yes, I did. I want to keep an eye on this because it's up oh, on a week. It's pretty much up. On a month, it's down. Okay, it needs to get back above the uh, 40, and then hopefully it can push 50 up in here. Okay, I think once it gets up in the 40 and, and 50 cent range, it's probably going to be like struggling to hold this spot right here. If it can hold that spot, then it can move on, move on up to like 60. Okay. So I do want to keep an eye on that. Let's look at the 52 week high, $83. I don't know. 
I don't know what's up with that. Eighty-three dollars. You see, yeah. So you see how the numbers look? Look, look right here. See how right here it says zero zero zero, and then it jumps up here and it goes to two thousand. That doesn't mean that the stock price was two thousand and something. This is really telling you that they had multiple and multiple reverse splits. So that's why the price looks like that. It's not going to get to that price, okay? Uh, when I was new to the market, I seen something like that, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy the stock. It may get back up to three thousand dollars," but the, the stock wasn't that much, okay? Um, this one I want to keep my eye on. It had a nice run up early this morning. I did not get into it, and did I ever? Yeah, I've never had this stock, but I want to keep an eye on it. The volume is uh, five thousand, uh, five million. Let's go right over here. This one is a. Uh, I, I think this is a bio stock too, if I remember right. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep a, keep an eye on that. All these bio companies, I'm kind of watching. Okay. Um, I do not have a stake in this. I do want to keep an eye on it. It's a pharma. Uh, SNDL. It's an old. This is an old school because a lot of people used to be on this because of a uh, the short squeeze factor. But I just want to keep an eye on it. The volume is very, very, very low, um, and it's not on the delisting list. So I just want to see how it's going to move. Okay. And 52 week high is two dollars and ninety three cent. So it's not too far from this 52 week and it's possible on a month. It's up on a month. It's down on a week. It's up on a day. So, uh, what else? Is that it? Did I get everything? Uh, it's India. Oh, and this one, I want to keep this on my radar too. I got this, I got this at the bottom of my list. Um, if it comes up. Hey Josh. Turn this, turn this off. Um, this is trying to run up. I think I had some of this in the past. No, that's not it. That's not stuck. Um, the earnings, it looks like they're constantly going up on every earning. Um, the, their money, the market cap is 4 million, uh, 52 week highs, $11, which is kind of good. Hopefully they can get back up cause they're on the dead listing list. They got, they got a notice right here. Meet, not meeting standards. So gotta keep an eye on that. But yeah, let's let's get back over here. I do want to keep an eye on, especially this one, because I have a stake in it. I do want to keep an eye on this. Okay. Um, I have a I have a strategy. I have a plan. Okay. I have a plan when the market opens up. I want to see if it's going to continue when the market opens, and I want to see, like within thirty minutes. That's what I want to see what it's going to do, okay? That's what I want to know. But I'm going to keep an eye on this, and um, yeah, it's already up. Look at it. It's pushed, and looks, it's looking nice. It's looking good. It's looking good. All right, guys, I got to go. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.